Sometimes you may even get what you call plastic inserts covering the screw holes and in that case you will sometimes have to use a sharp object just to prise these out to expose the screws. Now we can try and carefully prise the two halves of the plastic casing apart. This exposes the motor, the trigger unit and the battery housing itself. We have the connection point for the battery which is 12 volts. One's positive, one's negative. This sends the power to the switch. The switch then sends the power to the motor. Now the switch is a variable switch meaning the more you press the trigger the higher the RPM will be on the motor. You also have a different torque setting with the motor on the top and this just gives the motor either a higher RPM with less torque or a lower RPM with more torque. Now this switch actually reverses the polarity when you press the button for the directions. So in one direction the positive will be on this side and the negative on this side but when the switch is pushed down the positive and negative will be reversed in other words changing the polarity. 